Okay, we are back. This is the Eye of the Invincible. But of course, we're in Memora, and that is more of a, a memory we're seeing here. So it's not really the Eye, it's just sort of the perception of the Eye that people saw as it attacked. And a memory of it at that. Now whose memory are we dealing with here? Is this, um, is this Dagger's memory? Some reason Sadan's seeing other people's memories as well. Ah, I hate these things. Are we still in Alexandria? I guess that's a big yes. Up, oh, about to leave. Oh, look at that. Is that Terra and Gaia? Oh, that's unfortunate. So on one hand, you can look at the situation with Terra as being sort of something that... Just a regular battle. Terra was a dying world, so you can have some sympathy for them. But Terra was attempting, in order to sustain itself further, to um, sort of maintain itself by assimilating another planet, now the cost, uh, uh, yeah, I gotta start to wonder at what point does the cost of trying to maintain Terra become greater than the benefit of Terra's continued existence. So it wiped out Gaia's population. It couldn't do it. Terra couldn't conquer Gaia. Couldn't absorb it. Huh. <laughs> Weird monster. So that's where the tree came into play. Now, people have a tendency to look at trees and think, oh, wow, that's some sort of aspect of nature. What can be so wrong with that tree? That tree is an important part of the civilization of the summoners, in fact. Looks like the Materia Keeper. So... But, but the tree was foreign. The tree was toxic to the world, in fact. It was the agent in which filtered out the souls of the people of Gaia from returning, like, sort of in a Final Fantasy VII-ish sort of uh, spirit energy kind of thing, where the souls return to the planet and then are reborn and all that kind of crap. Well... It was stopping that flow and was just depositing all that sort of spirit energy back on onto the world in the form of a mist. So the mist was more or less just a byproduct of this long-term plan by Gaia or Garland, working on the uh, working in the interests of Gaia to consume the planet. They had to weaken Gaia. So Terra could consume it, eventually. Tent. Now, we stopped the tree, but we didn't really stop the tree. It's alive and well, and it dumped mist all over the damn planet. So it's still... It was probably always doing what we thought it, we had stopped it from doing, which was filtering out the souls. 
but um, hell, apparently we didn't, and now everything's just gotten worse. I would suspect if it were just Zidane and Vivi had something to do with their sort of unnatural creations. And there's our boss battle. What do we have this time? Okay, that water cast. Reckon. Really? We're forbidden? It's a water boss, so I'm gonna hit it with lightning attacks. See how that works. Eh, dagger's got nothing to do. Oh, there are actually three enemies here. Alright. Oh, helmet. Alright, that was an underwhelming attack. But, um. Let's go on with this. Just because its attacks seem underwhelming doesn't mean the monster is weak. You gotta be careful, you don't know what other kind of abilities it may have. Oh, it's gonna blind us, isn't it? And, yeah, that, apparently that's what it did. <laughs> Alright, drops. All right, that was underwhelming, but it attacked all three, so, you know. See, if I reflect these abilities, it's just going to go and... Oh, no, he's doing it to himself. <laughs> Healed. <laughs> the attacks take so damn long, though, it bothers me. Shit, he's frozen. Eh. Blind float. I got nothing for this, do I? There, that was more powerful than the Eidolon. Keep it up, Vivi. Well, if it's going to spend all of its time trying to heal itself, and I can heal itself for more damage, for more damage than it can heal, yeah, I can damage it for more than it can heal itself, then it's just a matter of time. But I guess this is kind of dependent on my damage output, isn't it? Oh, Steiner's up. Oh, uh, no, it's healing itself multiple times over. Oh, no, it's attacking me this time. Damaged. I'm wondering if it would be worth it to cast Reflect on the damn thing so it stops being able to heal itself. Probably not, because Vivi's attacks are so dependent. Plus, its Reflect would just end up hitting me anyway. Damn, my healer's down. Perhaps I should focus on a tentacle instead. What am I doing ice attacks for? Use thunder. 
Ah, dagger's back. Yeah, I'm doing blizzard attacks again. Just by doing that the entire time, wasn't really paying attention. I think I got into a certain funk on account of the um, previous two bosses being weak to ice. Overall, its attacks are underwhelming enough that I think regen is enough to keep it going. So I'm going to have Dagger switch to being more of an offensive role. We're not that far from the save point, so as soon as this fight's over, I can turn around and go back and use one of the tents I have. Damn you. <laughs> oh, it missed anyway. I should probably just start attacking with Zidane. This isn't working. Of course, I say that, and then I went and <laughs> issued a steel command. Do as I say, not as I do. I suppose if I didn't have an offensive magic caster in the party, I could cast Shell on the thing. So the healing water attacks on it wouldn't be quite so effective. But, I mean, no use in thinking about strategies in a fight in a for a situation which <laughs> is not happening. All right, Zidane, you really are going to start attacking now. All right, then. <laughs> he, uh, he tranced. So I guess that's perfect timing. Oh, they're both trancing. Just my luck, this would be close to the end of the fight anyhow. Oh, there goes one of the things. Tentacles. There goes both of them. Yes, use one of your trance moves to remove a status that doesn't even exist anymore. Oh, damage! Oh, it's changed its pattern. This is, I guess, weaker, but, you know, whatever. I'm gonna let Dagger just stand there, though.
And it's dead. Never checked to see what stock break was. Was that an ability or that I had to equip or just to... Oh, there it is. Non-elemental damage. Hmm. Today, All right. using promo code beyond 25. Alright, I got my save on and uh <laughs> I got my save on and now I'm gonna continue on at least uh, for a few more minutes before the end of episode ends. A lot of nonsense out here, huh? Oh, I should probably go back. There's gotta be something there. Okay. <laughs> Five thousand years ago, Gaia looked like that? I guess perhaps that's guy after Terra fucked it up. Had to rebuild, you know? Ah, oh, crap. Um, I guess it's the only one that looks real. Not a good that did. Another boss battle. This has got to be the last one. There were four, right? Alright, yeah, so we fought this fucker before. I'm not sure what his weakness is, so let's just try fire. Gloves. Uh, all right. Auto float would have been nice here, huh? Death Cutter. It's perhaps the case that he doesn't have any elemental weakness. Uh, well, okay, lightning is definitely not his weakness. Alright, so I'm going to assume fire is his weakest. Now, none of that was done with, um, with focus on. So let's focus up. Oh, she's down. Crap, I don't have any good potions, do I? Bring her back, damn it. <laughs> Is anyone gonna do anything?
I guess it froze when I was in there, you know, in the mo in the menu. Ah, here we go. Glad to get that dead. <laughs> Still underwhelming. Death. Oh, damn it. Siren's flute. Weapon for someone I don't have in the party. You everything good? Uh, level 5 death. You know, I don't know. Nope. Nope. Just for reference, level 5 death is a kind of attack that will kill you instantly if you have a, uh, a level that's a multiple of 5. There's also, like, level 4 death and stuff like that. Ah, jeez, all your attacks suck, BB. No, no, don't stop. Ah, oh, damn, not him. <laughs> it's much tougher than the last time we fought him. This music playing too fast is really trippy. Go through the entire track multiple times over during this fight. I mean, granted, it's not that long anyway, but still. Wish I could see what its HP is. Maybe I should try some alternate attacks, see what else he's got, other than these regular elementals. Like... For, for example, if I heal him, will that damage him? He is an undead character. Oh, that is some shit there. <laughs> Try healing him. I wonder if, like, if it worked, because there were some bosses in the earlier games that if you threw, like, an X potion at them, they die instantly. So instead of having, like, a long, drawn-out fight, you just throw an X potion at them. Or even, like, a Phoenix Pope. Oh, nope, it healed. <laughs> okay, that was a mistake. Damn you and your doom. Comet's always nice. Yeah, that was nothing. It didn't do shit. I'm just flat out casting death now. Fantastic. At least it'll get the damn stop off of him. Okay, we got, what is this, uh, stock break. Let's try that. He's about to go down anyway. Try water. Oh, Steiner's down. <laughs> Guess he's got a multiple of five, huh?
Ah, not that good. I'm having much more, much more trouble with this fight than I think I should. I guess being the fourth one, he's going to be the most powerful. Break. Try that. No, don't stop. No, ah, damn you. <laughs> my healer. Okay, that did nothing. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. I win. All right, there you go. Beat all four of those uh, guardians, the Chaos Guardians. So I'll end the episode here at 26 minutes. Huh? Thanks for watching. Goodbye.